Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the folk talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Man, this is what happened last week on Earth. Wasn't really that much to talk about, man, but I got to talk about it. A few things you got to start off with this, man. Angels must be real because um, it's, a, it's a crazy story, man. I don't know where this happened at, but Jit right here, um, he serving, he finna face some time, man. He went up and pulled a blicky to somebody's head three times and, and pulled the trigger and it didn't go off. I say angels real because three times and it didn't go off. Uh, woo, gotta be an angel with that boy, man. This is not the boy who did it, but this the, is the boy who did it, who pulled the thing out, man. I'm trying to be sensitive to the situation, man, because these are jits. Um, this happened on the school bus. Him and two other dudes got on the school bus and put that thing to somebody's head. And it didn't go off, man, three times. So, Angel's got to be real, man. This dude has been charged as an adult for that. I think he's going to get some years, man. Pray for the brother, man. Pray for him, yeah. Cause, yo, it kind of it hurt my soul when I seen this. It's like, man, y'all doing that, man? Y'all jumping on school buses trying to lay something down, man? Come on, man. It's, it, it just disgusted me for the whole week, man. I found this out, like, Monday. And I seen that, I was like, oh. I said, like, oh, that's just, oh. What is the youth going to, man? It happened last week on Earth, though. I was trying to get off this situation. If you smell what the crotch is cooking, this little boy, man, I don't know his real name, but he played Hobie Buchanan on Baywatch. It was Mitch Buchanan's son. I watched Baywatch growing up, man, because it had a lot of storyline to it outside of the lovely jubblies, you know, and the, you know, everybody know what Baywatch, everybody watch Baywatch for. But outside of that, it was a good story. Inside of Baywatch, man, they had to save somebody every episode underwater by that same rock. You go back and look at Baywatch, it's by that same rock every time. That's what they must have been filming at. But that ain't the story. The story is, is the dude right here, man. So he used to go around smelling the crotches of, of, of the bathing suits of the Baywatch um, women. You want to know what that thing smell like? <laughs> at a very young age I don't know how old he was he could have been 13, 14 but he knew he wanted to know what that smelled like yo. he walking around all them he like look I don't know man that's, that's a little weird but that's a weird little dude man that's what he was doing though <laughs> he admitted it we was talking about it last night somebody said yo why would you admit that like who asked you that nobody asked you that question man anybody said hey man what was you doing on the set but they probably asked you what you were doing on the set but they they I don't know, man. They ain't asking you, hey, you going around smelling the crown? That little piece in the middle? Hold on. Let's we'll see that little piece. Hold on. Where that little piece at? Right there. That little middle piece. He was going to spin that little middle piece. That little middle. Ah, nasty. Man. All right. Life going down the drain, literally. This cop right here at the top, man. He a black cop. And the dude at the bottom, they still looking for him. I don't know if they found him yet, man. But he was in pursuit. He was running from the police and he threw his gun in the damn storm drain. Upon recovery, this dude hip at the top wound up popping himself and taking himself out the game, man. Murked himself, retrieving his um, gun. So I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, my cousin last night, my co host, he was like, yo, is it his fault, though? Can't, did nobody know that was his gun? He didn't do it. He didn't, like, he didn't pull the trigger. He threw the gun down the drain. Another man got it. Upon him trying to retrieve it, you know, it went off and it shot itself. Um, they say they're going to charge him for it, too. Um, my co-host was like, I don't think he should get charged for it. You can't say that's his gun and I Ain't nobody see me throw it down there. Or I mean, it might have fingerprints on it or whatever, but he didn't pull the trigger. This man did. Like, come on, bro. I don't know how, what kind, did it have a, a high point or like what? Did you touch the damn trigger? How you mark yourself, bruh, doing this, yeah? This is R.I.P. to you for do anyway, man, but damn. You know what I mean? And this dude, he was running from the law. And he threw his shit in the drain and mm -mm, that's just a crazy story, man. Talk that talk, ghetto news hat I got on. He throwing his life down the drain and... I don't know how long that dude been a cop, man. He had to learn how to handle guns better, man, or something. I don't know. This is a strange situation. The Krabby Patty Mill. 
That's what they finna have at Wendy's, man. And we, I'm, I'm hoping they have this damn, um, this pineapple shake or frosty. That's gonna be good, man. I don't care. Um, it'd have been better if it was crab meat. Nah, it wouldn't have been. They should have it just like it is. That's a, um, a single with cheese. <laughs> That's a classic single, man. I don't know y'all doing them regular fry. Hey, what y'all got, man? I'm just gonna make this a Krabby Patty meal, a collab. It just has to be just the um, the pineapple under the sea, um, frosty. Did they make the burger look fatter or something? Like what? what like what is it, man? You just adding the frosty instead of a drink? I don't know, but they got that covered out, man. They collabed with Wendy's to do this. So big shout out to them, man, for doing that. Ray Rollins will probably love this, man. You're a SpongeBob fan. All right. You can take niggas out the hood, but you can't take the hood out of niggas. That's what I say when I seen this story right here. This is New York City Mayor something. I don't know his name. I ain't from New York. I don't live in New York. I don't need to know his name. I just know he's black and he the mayor. What they did, they recovered so many pounds of whatever, whatever. And upon burning, he grabbed a pack. <laughs> He sniffed it up. He sniffed it. He said, man, I don't know what this is. I don't know, man. Y'all seen the video, man. He walking through. They didn't recover all this dope on the table. That's how they do. They got to have. That's what they do, man. They got to have dope on the table to show that they really doing something. I learned that from the wire. When they want to do a big bust. Got to have dope on the table so you can have that photo op. He just walked through and smelled some of it. Threw it back down. I'm like, nigga, you going to do that really, man? You you had to smell it. You know what it is. I ain't gonna. If I'm a cop and I see some crack, I ain't gonna sniff the crack to find out what it is. It's like, oh, that's crack. I don't have to. I don't have to know the potency of the, the crack. And that's what he did, man. That's why I said you can't take the hood out the niggas. He had to know what that smelled like. He would know that thing smell like. See how I come right back around? Ah, they were the good old days. Hey, nigga, put one of these in the back seat for me. Thank you. That's what he did. He told somebody, man. They said it was 32 pounds. I heard it was only 31 they found. He took a pound with him. Maybe. That happened last week on Earth, though, man. I don't know. Uh, we'll see this story right here. I say, nah, that's Deacon. Did this, everybody saying, look, that ain't Usher, man. Usher had a concert, and they said, yo, that ain't Usher. That ain't Usher. That's Deacon. They say he both had a body double. Um, I was looking at the pictures last night, and... We zoomed in on his face a little bit, and it was like, ooh, I don't know. Is that Usher? Usher kind of, kind of, he got kind of a little skinny around the neck. You know, he could be losing weight. He'd be on tour doing this thing. You never know about what these people be going through, man. Um, a couple years ago, I seen Chadwick Bozeman. Bozwick. Bozeman? I don't know his name. The Black Panther, T'Challa. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Chadwick Bozeman. Chadwick Bozeman, yeah. The Black Panther, dude played Black Panther. But what he did, man, I seen him, and I seen him looking real skinny and stuff. I'm like, ooh, look at you. And I made a decision to tell myself and everybody in the world when I made a video, like, hey, man, y'all see Chadwick Bozeman? Dude looking skinny. He look crazy. What's going on with Chadwick Bozeman? Oh, just making videos. You know how you do, man. You do YouTube, you first start now. Just make videos, make them by anything before you get really into it and know what not to say eh, you know or not not what not to say but try to be lenient and try to not be so damn messy online so i was making that and um i was talking about damn chapel boats look crazy then like a year later while we doing the show doing the live show it was like yo what's my bad name Harsh Frank Truth, he told me, yo, chat with Bowman just passed. I'm like, what? And then find out he had cancer and all that stuff. It's like, damn. I had to go and race the video, man, because I ain't want to talk. I ain't want to be online having a video about chat with Bozeman looking crazy. And it was like, yo, he was looking crazy. But it was, he was he was sick. He was going through it, man. So that's why I ain't want to say nothing about Usher. It was like, yeah, that might be Usher and he might be going through it, man. So, you know, a year from now, we're going to be talking about Usher. Like, yeah, man, remember he was on stage looking crazy? He ain't looking crazy, man. He just sick. So, mm. But that happened last week. As I said, that ain't Usher. That's Deacon. Or Bishop. Or somebody. And last but not least, Dancing with the Stars. Or, or the Scars. This is um Nikki Bella. She used to date this dude or married to this dude from Dancing with the Stars. You know, I think after she got done with the WWE and John Cena, she went on Dancing with the Stars. 
And she met this dude right here. His name is something, 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 something. He got one of them names with a whole bunch of vowels in it. And um, he didn't put hands and feet on her, yo. They say they got a DV case. Um, I don't know if he called the police on her. She called the police on him. But that's what's going on. I ain't want this to be the last story. But it's the last story that came up this week, man. Because it wasn't that much, man, popping off this week. That's why, that's why I said dancing with the scars. Because she got scars from... Uh, she tried to be funny, man. But, um... That was the last story, man. Um, pray for her, yo. Y'all tell her to get out of that situation, whatever, man. Can't have no nigga going upside her head like that. Better call... Yes, yeah. Call Daniel Brown. Call your brother-in-law, John Laurinaitis. That's Supreme Zilla said. Um, it was another story I was thinking... I heard last night, too. I ain't put it on the show last night. But it was... Uh, a lady said she was telepathically told by Kanye West... To steal a car. Can't make this up, man. You cannot make this up. And I believe him. Because, yay, he like a god. Yo, so he might have that power. I don't know. I like Kanye West. Okay, what he say about them other people? <laughs> nah, it's messed up. But, yo. All that happened last week, man. Um, That's it. That's all the news I got right now, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about some of these stories. Y'all tell me what y'all think about them, man. I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. And y'all got to come through and holler at me, man. Let me know. Let me see. Where my buttons at? I got to get my buttons right. All right. That's it. I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimple that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation. Tell me how you feel. And I'll let your boy, Heist Man, the folk, talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. This has been Last Week on Earth. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time. But I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.